Hey, my name is Marco. I'm a former pro opera singer turned voice actor. Today we're going to be listening to the Slave Night Gale from Dark Souls 3. This has been requested so much. All I see in the comments is request uh, Slave Night, Slave Night, Slave Night. So we're here. Thank you to Patreon for the request. I am very curious to hear it. It's been kind of blown up in my mind, so I hope that I have uh, the reaction that you're hoping I'll have. Everyone has claimed that this is one of the best FromSoft uh, soundtrack pieces ever, so let's do it. I don't know this. I don't remember it if I... I don't, I don't know it. Uh, I did play Dark Souls 3, but for whatever reason, I don't recall this. So here we go. So right away, I, with that, with the men in the background and the da, 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 this feels like a knight bound by duty. Of course, it says slave knight, but you really hear that they're bound by responsibility and by duty and by, you know, having to follow through with, with orders. And, and uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty interesting. It almost feels like we want to set this character free. You know, there's the sense of the slave knight begging us to release them from their prison, from their captivity, from the slavery. And even though they probably fight with great rigor and vigor, I wonder if there is still a sense of honor to this character that even though they are now a slave, they still want somewhere inside of them to hold on to the sense of duty. We always hear this in FromSoft games, but there's this plaintiveness there and in in a way, it sounds like begging. There's this honor component, and then there's this begging component in the men. and then, But then there's also the forward momentum in the strings underneath it all, and the piano, too. There's some piano in there at one point that is moving us forward, per usual, in these pieces uh, with the intent of, like, I, I have to fight, but I would rather not. I would rather end this struggle for myself and be put out of my misery. I'm guessing.
feels like there's a absolute loss of control here and whatever sort of humanity was being held onto by the slave knight has now completely reverted and or perhaps they've grown you know very tall and very big or they've unleashed this sort of furious blows and in a lot of ways it, it feels like there's some sort of tornado or some sort of spinning attack there's a flailing around of, of of great violence of course there's no longer a sense that there is um a willingness to be put down now there's like a fight to live and uh you hear it in this raw ruthless powerful energy that is uh, spinning in this and i find it also interesting that at one point You've got what's going on in the course is sort of like chant, like, and I think maybe that's honor or duty or like, or, or the, the fact that they're indentured and in service, but then you've got the soprano that's over top and then everything kind of joins up with the soprano at the one point where we just ended. You know, I can't tell if that soprano is like the consciousness of this character who's like still trying to hold on or this outcry of like, then you will be banished. You know what I mean? And, the, and they have this sense of deciding to accept that you have to be destroyed or they will be destroyed as one or the other. hear those strings it almost feels it's probably wildly inaccurate but in terms of my interpretation of what i hear it almost sounds like the the slave knight's like ah! and he like grab he like they grab their their head and their their helm is like covered in blood or it's like been broken in half or something and they're grabbing at their face and like there's just like it's like berserk mode kind of um yeah it's really cool let's keep going <laughs> It's interesting the way it ends too it's like we put them down and suddenly it's like they they vanish out of thin air you know it's like all that rage and all that anguish and and suffering suddenly feels like we've released them and they are set free into the into the ether or whatever into the world and and their soul goes on and the nightmare is over for them so in a way it's actually like it's a duty for us to to end their suffering or that's my takeaway from it. I don't know if that's correct or not, but yeah, I mean, it's a very good piece. It's a very, very, very good piece per usual. I mean, these these are all knockouts. I know I said in my Lady Maria video that that was the best Soulsborne from Soft Game soundtrack piece. And while I do, I do hold on to that, I do feel like this is incredibly impactful. And I bet you it's even better knowing the lore and understanding the 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 reasons why these different phases occur. It's it's pretty powerful. So. Yeah, this was fun. As always, thank you so much. If you'd like to guarantee a song request, feel free to check out the Patreon or PayPal. Um, that's really the only way at this point that I can get to uh, requests or reactions. Obviously, you know, I did see this popped up a lot, so I usually pay attention when a lot of people are asking for the same thing. But yeah, feel free to join the Discord as well. And as always, thank you so much, and I will talk to you later. Bye.